Today, we're going to be taking a look at some different rain configurations for the Z-Pax Pleximid. If you've seen either of my previous videos on this tent, then you'll know that I kind of had an issue with the amount of overhang there was when there's one door open. I felt as though with my old tent, the Z-Pax Duplex, there was more of an overhang on the tent, which allowed me to leave one door open when it was raining and not having to worry about rain coming into the tent unless there was a sideways rain. Now with this tent, after speaking with Joe at z -Pax, I realized that the amount of distance between where the pole is and the edge here is actually the exact same as the duplex. But for some reason, I feel like there still isn't as much of an overhang, at least at the bottom of the tent. Um, that being said, I guess you can still kind of leave the door open on this thing as long as it's not a sideways rain. But there are a couple hacks you can do to where you can leave it open all the time or close to it. Let's take a look. Okay, so there is enough of an overhang in the Pleximid right here to where water is not going to drip in your tent unless it's a sideways rain so you can leave the door open when it's raining get more ventilation which means less condensation on the inside walls of the tent but my concern is always down here at the bottom you can see how close this fabric is to the screen there and what i've noticed happens is water rolls off and a little bit of wind blows it gets on your screen it drips and it can get down inside your tent now one of the little hacks to that and you can also do this in the duplex is to, to take your shock cord here that pulls up your bathtub floor and bring it across to your zipper here and what it does is it pulls in pulls in your screen now the issue I have with this is that when you're laying down you have a cord pretty close to your head here and you know it can get annoying I've hit my head on that before um, at the other end of the tent I've hit my feet on it so that can get annoying but it's definitely something you can do in a pinch if you want to increase your airflow and prevent condensation in a storm so another configuration for the Pleximid in a storm is to create a little bit of a beak with the second door here. Okay, so I don't recommend doing this all the time, especially if you keep like a somewhat taut pitch on your Pleximid. If you kind of keep a looser pitch normally, then you're probably okay doing this. But what you're gonna do is on your second door here, the one that you wanna vent, um, you're gonna go ahead and take your toggle and connect it right here. Now once this toggle is connected, all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and roll up your door. Alright, kind of like that. And what I did was I loosened up my points here and a tiny bit right there. And that gives you a nice little beak there so you can still keep a pack inside here. You can leave this open and it... Uh, it helps a little. All right, now if that workaround uh, sketches you out because you feel like it puts too much tension on the tent, then there is one more way to do this, but it requires adding a little bit of weight to your tent. If you don't mind adding four grams to your tent, there is a workaround so you don't have to put as much stress and as much tension on the DCF. And for four grams, what you do is you order a uh, stick on loop and toggle set from z packs and you install that about halfway up the door and what i mean by that is that instead of rolling this door all the way up and clipping it here like we did last time you would install one here and here one on each side and you would roll this up to about just to where it's somewhat taut to about here and then you would go ahead and clamp that down and then you would have a nice little beak there to prevent wind and stuff from getting in now if you plan on just keeping a door open when it's slightly drizzling then you don't have to do any of those things I just mentioned the the Plexamid can handle conditions like that no problem with leaving one door open 
but if you get a slightly more significant rain and you want a little bit more protection and you want to kind of create some type of beak then those two options may be able to help you um, again be careful with these tents they are pretty fragile even though DCF is a really strong material you know stretch wise um, it can be punctured and more so if you put too much tension on it so be careful with your tent now I'm still completely in love with this Z-Pax Pleximid. I love pretty much everything about the tent. I'm gonna be bringing it with me on the PCT 2020, and um, I plan on using it on a whole bunch of Hawaii hikes coming up. So stay tuned, everybody. Mahalo.